Hi and hello, welcome to online biology class because of ideal others educational institution and the year. I am Sadish Kumar going to take down the class regarding the topic of plant physiology. So we know very well the plant physiology. This is the unit number 19 for 9th standard biological science. So first of all plant we know very well the plant which consists of a external morphology in the form of root system, stem system and leaf system followed by they are producing the flowers and physiology which means studying about the plant and the plant cell oriented functions and which is included for 10th standard uh, science portion and by the same time we will see all the things in the elaborate manner with the 10th standard science, biological science especially in unit number 12. So today's topic we are going to be seen about uh, tropism and uh, gnostic movement. So you know very well four different types of uh, categories are available in the plant physiology. So number one is called uh, tropism. So what is tropism? So all the plants they are going to be grown. So it is a common mechanism. But they have some kind of unique character which is called uh, tropism. So gnostic uh, movement which means some type of plant they are having a special kind of movement that is called a uh, gnostic movement. So before we are entering into the tropism and the gnostic movement, we will see some of the basic animation regarding the tropism and the gnostic movement. Get ready for the animation. We will see the animation now. So now we will see this animation belongs to a Tigmo nasty and by means of a climbing the plant then depending upon the need so the tentacles and by using these tentacles and tentons the plants they are bind with the supporting system it's a special type of movement which is available on the plant the climbing the veins by means of any other supporting substance second one uh, this is the a representation for plant physiology with the basic movement of plants so the plants they are done in the uh, contraction and relaxation mechanism by means of the movement of water in and around the tissue then uh, we will see that the plant they are having more amount of water the leaves are triggered and the osmosis and the transpiration is takes place they are in the form of stride and by the same time the tigers are reduced by means of the less amount of water automatically the leaves are fall down and they have become into the short position and this is the kind of uh, tropism for the geotropism we will see that uh, root system which is grow towards the direction of soil the leaf system which is move on to the direction of soil which is indicating the geotropism and next one we will see about that plant which is grown depending which is indicating the plant they are recover for the growth to the sunlight so this is a uh, phototropism photo means light so depending upon the light the aerial parts of the plant is move on to the direction it is called a phototropism or phototropic movement and uh, we will see that uh, sunflower they are having some kind of uh, basic movement uh, depending upon the sun in the direction of east and west so in the direction of east uh, takes place on the morning session and the west which is takes place on the evening session and one more uh, thing which is given for this uh, diagram this is a binomial name is called mimosa putica the touch me not plant it is a best example of uh, tigmo nasty and by the same time we are touch the plant in the any direction or by means of the external stimuli the plant was automatically done some kind of closing movement how it was takes place the stopping of the flow of the water molecule from the parenchyma muscle so the movement is takes place and the leaves are closer and this is a more to know question we know that the insect eating plant if any kind of insect they are sitting on the plant automatically it was closed to see a substance uh, they are absorbed on the plant body why they are eating the insect because of the plants are recovered some kind of nitrogen source the nitrogen source which are provided by the plant and sorry insect they are sucking that uh, insect body from that itself they are getting a nitrogen source so up to that uh, we can enter into the textual content now Yes, now we will see the textual content regarding two topics only. One is called tropism and another one is called gnostic movement. 
before that we are known something regarding the plant physiology the animals in the searching of move in the search of food shelter and reproduction we know very well we also a social animal and we are migrated for various purposes and various kinds of work from one place to another place then why we are migrating why we are done a work why we are earning the money because of food then we need food three times so the food sheltering we are living in the home for a safer side and reproduction so we can be reproduced to maintain the progeny in the world then there is a one more question is there do the plants show such movement so we can see compared to the plants and animals the animals are moved from one place to another place for the above three reason but plants also done the same mechanism but whether it is moved from one place to another place so simply we say no the plant cannot be migrated from one place to another place it is stable on the one place and by the same time they are done all the mechanism done by the animal the same mechanism which is done by the plants then what are the things uh, we have to see in from this uh, continuation you have observed the leaves of mimosa putica touch me not plant i already show you in the animation in tamil total sinangi so the touch me not plant they also done some kind of movement if we can touch or any kind of object is penetrating or uh, spotted out in the leaf surface automatically the leaves are closing whereas we will see that heliandus anus sunflower surya gandhi poo the follows the path of the sun from one uh, down and desk from east and west we will see that the sunflower in the morning they are uh, facing on the east direction and the evening they are focused the direction so it is a kind of movement which is automatically done by the plant by means of a trapezium and we will see that the diagrammatic representation of the mimosa putica and uh, sunflower heliandus anus the next one uh, these movements are triggered by the external stimuli we will see that the closing of mimosa putica and the movement of direction from the sunflower both are done by external factor what is external factor so the external factor which is comes out from outside of the plant body so which is not induced by the plants and which is induced by any other substance unlike a plants animals do not move in their own from one place to another but can move their body parts and getting a sunlight water and nutrients we will see that to compare to the animal the plants also done some kind of movement then why it was moving so only the body part or parts of the body only moved because of sunlight for photosynthesis the sunlight is needed water for the surveillance and nutrients for the development so because of three reasons the body part of the plants are moved or they can done some kind of shaking and they are sensitive to the external factors like light gravity temperature etc the plant parts they have some kind of sensation by means of heavy light the plant is getting dry by means of gravity it was tightly penetrating on the soil and due to the temperature the external appearance are available in this lesson we will study about various movements in the plants photosynthesis and transpiration but today's topic we are seen about only the types of movement like a tropism and a nastic movement then let us enter into the topic what is tropism a tropism is a unidirectional movement of a whole or part of the plant towards the direction of stimuli for example we will see that the unidirectional it is a one way process the leaves and stem which is move on to only in the sunlight and the root which is move on to the soil and the root which is move on to searching of nutrient and water so it is a unidirectional movement the stem cannot be move on with the earth and root cannot be move on with the sunlight so the direction is unidirectional this type of unidirectional movement is a part of the whole plant is called tropism which is induced by the factor the factor name is called stimuli and next one the type different types of uh, tropisms are available phototropism geotropism tigmotropism and hemotropism so the four different types of tropisms are available they are having a positive tropism and negative tropism positive means they are accepting and move with the same direction 
negative means it is opposite process they cannot be moved with the same direction right so first one we will see about a phototropism what is phototropism photo means light tropism means movement the plant or plant part move towards the direction of light is called phototropism example shoot of the plant the diagram is given here for a very good understanding and second one geotropism geo means what due to the gravity by the earth the movement of plant part due to the gravity of uh, example is a root of the plant so the diagram also given and third one hydrotropism hydro means water tropism means movement the plant part move towards the direction of water is called hydrotropism the movement of plant or part of the plant towards the water example is a root of the plant is example of hydrotropism and a tigmotropism so tigmotropism the movement of plant part due to the touch or climbing of veins is example we will see that uh, various types of climbers the pumpkin and uh, bitter gourd uh, snake gourd all the plants they are having a uh, spine tentacles by means of all these things they are penetrating with the substance is called and climbing veins and hemotropism hemo means chemical stimulus by means of a chemical stimulus a particular kind of object which is move on with another direction or another object is called an hemotropism the movement of a part of the plant in the responsible to chemicals example growth of pollen tube responds to the sugar present in the stigma we know that honeybees are attacked by attack, uh, attracted by the pollen grains because of the reason the presence of more amount of sugar in the form of honey so due to the chemical response the pollen tube is respond to the sugar present in the stigma and next one the tropism is generally termed two types one is called positive growth another one is called negative growth so positive means towards the direction is called positive away the signal is called negative then the shoot of the plant move towards the light is called positive the root move away is called negative so it is called an positively phototropic which means the stem accepted by the sunlight the root is rejected by the sunlight so it is called a positively phototropic and usually the shoot system of the plant is positively phototropic we are accepted and already known negatively geotropic because the root sorry stem system cannot move on with the soil so it is a negatively geotropic and root system is negatively phototropic root cannot be moved towards the direction of sunlight and root is move on with the direction of root uh, soil so it is called a positively geotropic and some of the halophytes it is a duinocostine halophytes which is living in the coastal area for example mangrove plants they are negatively geotropic because the more amount of saline so they are not respired the rhizopora it is a kind of example of mangrove plant these roots are turned into 180 degree to upright for respiration because it's a high quantity of soil they are unable to done some kind of respiration and oxidation so it was absorbed by means of upside of the soil so it is called an respiratory root which is available on the mangrove plants now we will see about the nastic movement the nastic movement is a non directional movement which cannot be done by the internal factor which is done in the external factor response of the plant or part of the plant to the stimuli based on the nature of the stimuli the nastic movements are different types so by means of only in the external force the plants are done some kind of movements then photonasty which means the plant respond depending upon the sunlight only so it is called photonastic movement of a part or part of the plant in the light so praxigum affinally serbolum blooms in the morning and close in the evening the flower bud opening in the morning and closed in the evening due to the sunlight so it is called photonasty and second one similarly the ipomea alba moon flower so open only in the night and closed in the day time we will see that the jasmine also open in the evening and closed in the morning and 
Then uh, tigmonasty, the movement of part of the plant towards the touch. Example is a mimosa putica. Fold the leaves and it drops when it is touched. It is also known as a sesimo nasty. It is a high quantity of sensitivity which is divine in the petiole of the plant because the stopping of a water flow through the parenchyma cell because of the reason they have some kind of sesimo nasty. And next one, the Venus fly trap. So, Desunia mypulisa. It's a present the spectacular example of Tigmonasty, which is otherwise called an insect eating plant, which exhibit the fastest movement of nasty. Then why it was done such kind of movement? Because the plants are recovered by some quantity of nitrogen sources. The nitrogen sources are provided by eating with the insect. And one more question is there. Then one more one mark is there, which is the fastest gnostic movement containing organism that is a Venus fly drop. And thermo nasty, thermo, which is explained with the temperature, the movement of or part of the plant associated to change the temperature, tulip flower. It's the best example which is available in this cold region. Once they are getting the temperature, then only it will be open. So it is an example of thermo nasty. And we will see that uh, detailed question differentiate between the tropic movement and the gnostic movement. So we are already known that the definition unidirectional, non-directional. So first point. Second point, it is a growth dependent. Tropism is a normal process. They are going to be growth dependent. And uh, gnostic is a growth independent, which is not affected with any growth. So it is a independent growth movement. And uh, tropic, they are having uh, more or less uh, reversible. It is in the form of irreversible. And uh, it's, a term, uh, it's a temporary and a rever a reversible for the gnostic movement. Then tropic movement is available in the, all the plants. What are the plants we are seeing in, the, on, in and around us? But gnostic movement which is available only in the special type of plant. Only a few plants they are having a special type of movement. And the tropic is a slow process. The plant is going to be grow. It is a slow process. But the gnostic movement, we are touched the plant. Immediately it was closing. So it is an immediate action. So thank you very much. Up to that we are seeing about the basic concept of plant physiology. Two type of movement. One is called tropism and the gnostic movement. From the next class itself, we are seeing about the photosynthesis, the transpiration. So these are the two topics are bending. We will see in the next class. And then Bible, thank you very much from Sadish Kumar in Biological Science Department. Thank you one and all.